you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the market. We got our market talk. So, guys, I told you it's going to be like a two to three times a week thing. You guys love it. Like, literally, love it. A lot of you guys show a lot of support on it. You guys like, you guys comment. It gets a lot of views. Clearly, you guys are, it's one of my, my, my better things that I do. But again, I don't want to be known as a market guy. I want to be everything. I want to do gameplays, market, content, tips. I want to do everything. That's kind of what I'm building my channel around. And so far, you guys are supporting everything. Content's a little behind, but I think I'll pick up as the game picks up anyways. But guys, I'm going to be going over how the market a little infl inflated slightly going into Weekend League. I'm going to give you guys my advice on what to do. I kind of pre... I told you guys what to do before, but now I'm going to show you guys live what it's going to be like. And then Saturday's coming up, so I'll give you guys advice for that Saturday. It is tomorrow. So, I'm going to do the whole, the whole spiel right now. Give you guys a little tips and tricks on what to do and handle it. But guys, I already posted some other videos. I should have already had a few other videos up. My content, my coin method if i haven't posted that yet there's a coin method coming for you guys today i'm posting four times today boys so be ready for that now guys if you're new to the channel smash the sub button i know by, by now maybe i have it we're going for 5k today guys please i hope you guys can handle that i know you guys can you guys have been killing yes yesterday and the days before that we need 400 more subscribers to hit 5k i know you guys can do it so let's get to 5k by tonight go smash the button whoever you are watching this right now turn on the noti bell to get notified every time i post and let's get 250 likes in this video i know you guys can handle that also comment down below your personal opinions on the market right now. Now, guys, let's head over to the auction block. You guys know the rules on this. I like to start from low and go all the way up. And then I'll slowly work I'll work my way towards the top. And I'll talk about the legends for tomorrow. Starting at the 8081s. Like I said, they don't typically move. They are at 13k though, so they are slightly up. This show this already shows they're slightly up. They're going they're about 13.1, 13.2. These were like 12 before. Now, the 81s, where are they at right now? The 81s are at 14k, okay? They were like they were like 14 before. These don't typically move. I told you guys. These these are the static cards. These are the cards that kind of just don't move much all year. They're not going to move too much towards towards the end when like over overpowered cards are coming out and these become irrelevant and these aren't even backups anymore. But until that comes, they're still very usable right now. So they're not going to they're not going to move too much. So now 82 to 83. This is where it starts getting a little more slightly more interesting. So 82s are at 20k. These cards should be no more than 17, 18k. So these are already on the come up. The 83s were like. 25 let's see what they're at right now 83s are 28k okay 27 28k so yeah everything's on everything's up right now so if you have any 81 or 82s you can keep those for now no 80 or 81s you can keep those 82s and 83s sell sell those already that, that those are sells 83 overall should not be going for almost 30k right now that's unreal it should be mid to low 20s at best so 84 to 85s coming in here we got 84 overalls are almost at 40k guys Hint, hint, tonight, around like 11, or even now, put your cards up for 24 hours or higher price. So if I had an 84 overall, I'd put them up for like 41K, 42K. I'd put them up for 24 hours and let them sell overnight. Always let them sell overnight. Always overpricing, let them sell overnight. If you overpriced all your every all your players by like 5K, and you sold like 20 players, and you overpriced them all by 5K, that's an extra 100K minus 10K reduction. So you'd make an extra 90K on selling your players, and all you'd have to do is just put them up for a little longer. Now let's see where the 85s are at. The 85s are sitting at, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, they're 56K, 55K. Wow, sell your 85s right now. These cards were going for like 40K, 45K before. Sell them now. They're so, and then I, I promise you, once Weekend League Rewards come out, everyone gets their free 84 plus Elite Packs, their Gridiron Packs, whatever, their Gold Player Packs, their free Elite Packs, their Fire Fantasy Packs, their Coins and everything. Everyone's gonna, these are gonna go down. The higher ones might not move too much only because people could actually buy those cards and they get more coins. But everything's gonna start, but they're gonna pull more, so it evens out a little bit. But wow, these are crazy. Let's go to the 86, 87s. 86 overall Harrison Smith Harrison Harrison Smith. Harrison Smith is 75k. That's unreal. That is unreal. I remember back when Richard Sherman was like 55k and Trent Williams was like 55k. Wow, okay guys, if you have any 86 overall, sell them now. It, 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 by the way, this advice is if you're not if you're not playing weekend league, if you're not playing weekend league. Feel free to sell everything you have. And then you remember guys, this is this is the routine. It's like rinse, wash, repeat kind of a thing. Wash and repeat, whatever it's called. It's sell on Thursday night. Snipe on Saturday morning. Buy back Monday. That's it. And then resell Thursday. It's like you rinse and repeat and you just keep doubling. 
Yeah, I wouldn't say doubling every time. It depends on how well you sell them and how long you wait. It could be like an extra 20% margin every single time, which is way worth it. Now, the 87 overalls. Starting at David Bakhtiari. Almost had a, they almost had 100K. Bakhtiari used to go for like 67K. Wow. I told you guys, if you held on to these, you were going to make a lot of bank. A lot of bank. The higher elites didn't really move too much, but that's because like, just like the bottom baseline kind of moved and shifted. He kind of stayed the same. Odell and Gurley are only up right now because they just got new cards. Pat Mahomes is there. Uh, Pat Mahomes is there. Jalen Ramsey is overpowered, so that's why he's there. That explains that. Okay. So, let's send on over to the 88 to 89s. This is where it starts getting a little more interesting. 88, Justin Tucker and Tom Brady are 150K, 141K. But typically, Tucker's not even there. They're more like 150. So, guys, you know what that says? Brady and Tucker were 85 to 95K when the game first dropped. Like, a few days into it. So, if this is the so training's crazy expensive right now. I wouldn't recommend any training right now. I'd recommend none of it. I wouldn't recommend buying any cards. I wouldn't recommend touching the auction block. Just sell, sell, sell. Get your coin stack up and just chill for now. Sell all your Brady's for 150 because this card was literally 85, 95K. I was going to buy more of them. I should have, but I didn't because I was trying to buy a team. Bobby Wagner's 173K. He was 135 a week ago. D Hop was 145 a week ago. Strahan was like, no, oh, Strahan was around that. Okay, Strahan's not too bad. Larry Allen was like 167, 170. He's up. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Marvin Harrison's around the same price. Nothing much there. Harrison Smith was like 205. He's up to 230, which means I didn't want to see where Zach Ertz is. The legend kind of stayed the same. That's really cheap for Aaron Donald. He was 280 yesterday. He, he's going to The higher ones are going to fluctuate because people can't decide if he's overpriced or underpriced. So he's going to always fluctuate right there. Now, where the hell is Zach Ertz? Did I pass him? I don't see. Maybe, maybe the auction's flooded right now. All right, so that's about it for the 80s, 89s. Marcus Allen's a god. He's uh he's slowly rising in price. He used to be 250, now he's 310. So if you guys have him, if you guys have Marcus Allen, and you don't plan to use him, sell him. I mean, I would never recommend selling him. And by the way, for all you guys who said that Todd Gurley would be better than Marcus Allen, he's not. He has an 85 speed. Marcus Allen has an 85, an 88. You power that up, 89. And then Todd Gurley powered up to 86. That speed just too big of a difference. Marcus Allen's the fastest card in the game. Feels like it at least. So in my opinion, Todd Gurley does not compete. So you know what that means? Mark Allen's price won't be touched. Am I hoping there's going to be a new running back soon? Kinda, and at the same time, no. Because I don't want to replace him just then. I'll go, let's get over to the 90-91s. Reggie White's a little bit on the cheaper side, actually. I mean, I wouldn't say cheaper. He's kind of at baseline. John Elway's overpriced. If you have John Elway, I'd sell him. Rice is kind of fine. I mean, Rice is a very high commodity kind of card. But wide receivers this year just kind of aren't it for me. I have two nats, so I don't really care for them. Derek Brooks is way... Way, way, way overpriced. I'd sell him right now if I had him. He's not going to... Once the next set of Legends drop, which is tomorrow, actually, prices should come back down on these Legends quite a bit. So if you guys are going to snipe Legends, like I said, it's always going to be tomorrow. Tomorrow, Saturday, when these Legends come out, you can snipe them, snipe them, snipe them. And then again, Thursday, resell them. So you'll probably get John Elway in these cards for like 240 230 tomorrow, 250 And you can resell them later on for 290 like right here, 280 Make a quick 20 30 k each, and you resell them Thursday, or even more. And if their pieces come down, you can buy their pieces. You can go into the set. You can make the full legend cards. Now, Patrick Mahomes. Again, here's another card. Where people are like, okay, is 320 too cheap for him? Is 380 too expensive for him? So he kind of hovers right in between. People, he goes up between 320 and 380. He won't be affected too much by anything on the market. Because superstars are their own entities right now. Gilmore's overpriced, 400 k He's an awesome card, but not 400 k If you guys have him, I'd sell him too. Especially when new superstars dropping. And once people get enough um, daily challenges done, they can start getting their free players. These cards will come down in value because they will not be worth as much anymore because people are going to have a lot of free ones. People won't need them as much anymore. So holding on to these probably isn't the smartest investment, guys. But that's about it for this video. La la last three tips that I usually end this video with, guys. Remember, sell Thursday night for extra. Snipe Saturday morning. Snipe legend pieces. Snipe the 81s. If you have low coin count, snipe the 81s. If you have a high coin count, snipe the 88s. If you have a really high coin count, snipe the 89s. Now, remember, the 88s are a little easier only because if you get them for 20K, you can retail them for, you can resell for 26. Less, less, people see it as less reduction, although it's going to be the same thing. Now, the higher ones, you just have to remember, if you see John Elway go from, he's 205, and he's going for 260. If you if you could sell for 255, but you lose 25K, you only make 20. You have to remember, like, if you snipe a card in the 200 range for 25k and you sell it, you're not really making much because of reduction. So you have to always snipe cards for like double the, the, the margin. So if it's 20k margin, you want them for 40k because you have to get rid of them. You have to count on the reduction already, so don't forget that. And guys, that's about it. Just don't forget, 
Sell your team for 500k tonight. Make back two. Sell your 500k team for 700k tonight. Make back about 150k after reduction. Use that to snipe. Snipe legends. Resell them. End up with like 800k, 850k. Buy back Monday. Rinse and repeat. Do what you got to do. And play solo battle. If you're selling your team, just play some solo battles to build up your coin count on the side while you wait for all this to go on and wait for your investments to follow through. That's what I did last year. Solo battles, solo challenges, Legend Saturday, Thursday selling, Monday buying. That's literally all you got to do, guys. That's about it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have been enjoying the content. And if you have, smash the sub button. Let's get to 5K by tonight. I know we're going to do it, guys. I trust you guys. Turn on the noti bell to get notified every time I post. Let's get 250 likes in the video, guys. And comment down below anything you disagree with or agree with down below. Give me some feedback. That's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have been enjoying. Peace. Thank you.